Continue. Oh, right. We had made our way back. Oh, we are lost, aren't we? So... I have to relearn how to play this really quick. Oh! oh I forgot I got this. That's right. And I don't really know why. If there's a particular reason we should be using it. Or is it just... My plan is, if there's any evidence of anything, that's what I'll take a picture of. Yeah, bodies, <laughs> murder weapons. You never know. You never know indeed. Oh, wait, there's there's smoke. There's smoke? Oh. I forgot about there that. There's another smoke. We think it's the girls, but it's probably... Could be the rotting corpses. I forgot about. I don't. I don't know if it's that kind of. Thing Someone's here. burning bodies. Okay, and just to reiterate, we've been up here to the northeastern part of the map. Um, I feel like we've taken a look at that pretty thoroughly. Yeah. There's this, uh, yeah, supply drop up there and a little fork. Well, the, remember the thing that goes over the, like the canyon, the little cart. But we can't use it right now. Oh, okay. It's over to where Delilah is. Oh, yeah. We also found this mysterious fence That's as right. well. Into Rapiti. But there was, been, there was a tragic event at Rapiti. And that's even... That's raising some questions now. Yeah, there's a lot of mystery. Because Delilah didn't even know what that why that was there. Supposedly. So I think we're good to just kind of move on. Oh, so the campfire smoke is down in this area we haven't been to yet. All right, so we have to go... Because now we can go off that... Yes. Um, Beautiful. Tree, whatever. Rope down. Nice. So we need to go west. Okay, yeah. This way. That always reminds me of that SpongeBob episode. Where they're like trying to find like buried treasure. And based off like the board game. And yeah. Patrick's like... <laughs> or Mr. Krabs is like... I thought we were going west. Or east. And he's like, <laughs> east? I thought you said weast. <laughs> oh, man. Good old SpongeBob. I'm going the wrong way. No animals really we ran into as well. Yeah, just a few cute ones. Cute. Except for the raccoon who, who jumped into your face. I you think there would be more jump scares? There could be. Maybe. And I, I think we made it around halfway through, if I remember correctly. Last of, time of the game. through the game. Yeah. I could be wrong, but... We did find these scratch marks, however, which are a bit concerning. Oh, it could be a bear. Or a... Wolf man. A course. wolf man? <laughs> hey, this, this game can get crazy. Here we go. So this is it. How do I do this? There we go. I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that nearly killed me yesterday. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, I'm afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. We're not oh, too happy Henry. about that, huh? Time to go. This is it. This is like a point of no return for now. Well, we can come back up. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's true. So that'll take us... Oh! Oh. Okay, so we're actually not quite where we need to be yet. So this will take us to another... To another one. Wow, we're going down! We. He does have big hands, Henry. Look <laughs> yeah. at him. He can be a boxer. <laughs> a bare-knuckle boxer. Oh. I don't know if we talked about this. Could you do that? Would you be okay with doing that? Like, like rappelling down a... Like something like this? Yeah. I guess he's not really clipped onto anything. He's I mean, this, kinda... I think I'm fine. But like an actual cliff. But an actual mean? cliff, that's going to be a hell no. <laughs> a hell I've always, I've hell always no. admired that yeah. skill. Like, I think it would be really cool to do, but I'm also scared of heights. Mm. So I don't know if I could. Plus, I feel like I need to work on my upper body strength. Yeah, for sure. I need to start eat, eating my spinach, <laughs> like Popeye. We eat spinach sometimes. Occasionally. Do you remember? Did you eat like the canned spinach? My mom used to give me that. That sounds gross. It was so bad. It made me like, not like spinach, but 
not all spinach is like that, you know? Yeah, I don't really like any canned veggies other than like corn. Everything else, like you'll, you'll eat like canned green beans. beans. Those are good. No, that's a, that's a throwback if you don't know. No, thank you. What was that, was that brand Green Giant? <laughs> We did it. We're in new territory. Unexplored territory. So we've got a cache up ahead. Cool, cool, cool. We'll see if there's any side paths. So Five Mile Creek. I wonder why it's called Five Mile Creek. Maybe because it's five miles. <laughs> wow. Mine is blown. Oh, this is pretty. It is. It's getting kind of late, though, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty big open field. Yeah, uh, nothing going on, huh? Not yet, anyway. There's the cash. What are the chances we see some some blood splatter? Blood? So I feel like you think this is going to turn <laughs> violent. <laughs> hey, you never know, man. We gotta be on our toes, Sarah. Eric is determined for the, for this to become a horror game. <laughs> Maybe a little. I guess Maybe it very little. easily could. I'm just on the medium. My, my mind's <laughs> on the medium. True. And all that good stuff. It's kind of look like hands. Yeah, like right? Yeah. They're moving. <laughs> the forest is alive. Either a horror game or a psychological thriller. Yes. Or both. It's one, two, three, four, right? Yes. Imagine I forgot. That would suck. <laughs> Someone would be like, oh, just guess one, two, three, four. And you'd be correct. Ooh, missing person. Uh oh, yeah, here we go. But in and a, here in, we go. In a park like this, it'd be very easy to hurt yourself and go missing. Mm -hmm. Sure. This, it's not related to someone else. <laughs> um. Did he work any? Oh, it's just yes. Yeah, three different paths. Okay, I think. Okay, okay. Right. Yeah. Right here. In Five Mile Creek. You're in their country. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next mm. you weren't. Mm. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Oh. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. Oh. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. That's sad. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay hey. in the tower. Hey. Hey, we just, first of all, this is first. Yeah, this is like what, a, a weekend. Plus, we have like so many things to do. Mitch Michaels, 6'2. Distinctive facial hair. Last seen, oh, 1980. Wait, what year is it? Um, seen her on Jonesy Lake. We had that. 1989. I feel like that sounds about okay, right. Okay, or in the late 80s. Yeah. 1989. Yeah, I'm not sad. Oh, who's this? Who is that? That's oh, is um, that? What's his name? Yeah, Roosevelt. Yeah. All I can think of is Robin, Robin Williams because he played him in. Uh, oh right. Not at the museum. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a suspicious-looking rock over here. Let's investigate it. Of course. All right, it's a pretty normal rock, I guess. <laughs> what if? What if they got, ooh, lush woods? I forgot we reported everything. Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did Whoa. You know I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through wow. fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? 
Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Fair enough. Sweet. Maybe they got attacked by a bear. <laughs> Maybe, Eric. Maybe. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, we've already had an interaction with them. Yeah, or so it's it not has them. to be something a little different. Oh, that could be it. Right. This is know. so pretty. Oh my gosh, this would be such a nice spot to set up a hammock. hammock. <gasps> let's see. Let's see if we can find some good. Ooh, the, well, oh, well, no, these I are a bit too close together. I think these trees. These two right here. Yeah. These that's would a good be. Spot. This would be a good hammock spot. Excellent. Very relaxing hammocking. <laughs> We've done it like once, once. together. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was a very memorable time. <laughs> it was on our campus. Yes, can can stay. When do you th when do you think that uh? that mine is going to come into play. Because I feel oh, like we, it has to. We couldn't lo lock it, right? Yeah, yeah, we need a key. Maybe, so, maybe, maybe, what if the man, the mystery man was the missing, per missing person? But then why maybe. would he like... I don't know why he'd be hiding. Yeah, that's true too. Maybe he wanted to escape the world. And... What's this? I don't know. That's a nice big tree. What a, what a great tree. Nice music. Go for a swim. Honestly, I'd be down. Birds. Life. They're not circling, are they? No, they're no. just flying. Wait a minute. They're just flying. I, I think. Know. Actually, they might be circling. <gasps> they are all kind of in one area. Interesting, Sarah. What does that usually mean? A dead body. Have you ever had that happen to you before? That's kind of a scary feeling. What? I, I grew up like- Birds circling you? Yeah, I grew up in the, in like, the woods, I guess, like pretty <laughs> far away from people. Yeah. And sometimes if you would like lay, like sometimes I would just, I don't know, I'd lay outside as a kid and there would be birds start to take interest. Like not, they would never like come up or anything, but they would, they would start taking a look. You'd have to fight them off. You know, with like a, a tree branch. Ha! Ha! I feel like I would I would listen to this playlist just doing stuff, the Firewatch music. Yeah. Oh, so do we miss path? Wait, where does this go? I think it's just a stream. Maybe that's it. Or is path. that where we're going? I think so. Whoop. I don't oh. know which way I'm facing. I think this is separate. <gasps> What's that? Waterfall. Clothes. No, there's some clothes. Oh, that too. Uh huh. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. <laughs> Are they? We're very confident. Oh, we're out. What about this? Yeah, there we go. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. Awesome. I'll keep looking around. Okay, it is strange. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Okay, so that's over to the campfire area. Let's check out this side first. <gasps> Can! Berries! Yes! It's the, what, the eagle? Red eagles or something? Empties, because we're on the right track. Roger that. Red eagle. Clean up! Wow. I, got I wonder how many of those I've missed. Beer. Good old beer. Good old beer. You know? Okay, where the heck am I? Ooh. Vista. Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. We could birds. do it. Yeah. Or Henry. <laughs> A total noob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, noob. I remember when that term was like, like right when it first came out, people were just using it nonstop. Mm -hmm. But it was such a devastating remark if you ever received it. You're such a noob. Ugh. Alrighty, I think we're good to go take a look. Yeah? Yes. 
Oh, I'm what ready. What are we gonna find? <laughs> or who? Who are we da, gonna da, find? Da. Well, the music does, does not currently reflect a horror. That is true. Psychological thriller. So, I'm sure everyone will be fine. When, I, when I'm walking around, I just imagine like Henry just getting slapped in the face uh, by all uh. these branches. <laughs> ah, his face must be covered in so many like cuts. <laughs> I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is beer. It them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Could they have done that? Them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. It's a lot of beer. I mean, it's just a couple of chicks. Not that the girls aren't strong or anything, but like it just seems a little odd, you know, to be bringing that much. That much for just two people? That's I a lot of beer. I guess they're just trying to have a good time. Yeah. If it actually belongs to them. My sheets. Wait, what? I found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Oh, Looks maybe like it is. Those are teen magazines. Anime. Oh. <laughs> I have entered the teen zone. Wait, um, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. <laughs> Makeup to make out. Oh, and top hunks. Top hunks <laughs> ranked and rated. Pants, they're back. <laughs> One more pants. Okay. <laughs> and we've got... Dangerous <laughs> hunks. <laughs> Tame your hunk. Nice. Hunks, hunks, hunks. <laughs> well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. <laughs> what are those so are his? Funny. <laughs> oh, we can keep talking about it. I don't get uh, why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls <laughs> should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. Huh, pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? <laughs> well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, it's unclear where they've been. <laughs> the pants, I mean. Ah, uh, what a jokester. He is. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. <laughs> All right, let's stop this out. Hey, there's still a few more cans in there, Henry. You don't want to just do a little quick, you know. Maybe we can invest. Well, where are they? That's true. Oh, there's a tent. Okay. They're gonna be dead in it. Maybe not. Or knocked out, drunk. I don't. Is that more clothes? Oh, there's a note. Oh. Oh shit! It's get. <gasps> it's torn. Oh, is that what was on the tree? Kidnap. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um. I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk, if it's off its rocker. Whatever Psycho. did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? Yes, It might evidence. be a good idea to get a few snaps. You're right. I knew it. Yeah, good thinking. Good thing I didn't use up all of them already. It's I nearly bad. forgot. That was... It's like uh, the devil in me. Although, it's, hopefully this actually matters. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. <laughs> At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. It is not. It's zombies. Is there anything uh, else around here before we... Read the note. The mysterious note. I know. I don't know if I should look around more. Ha! What if, I feel like we could have a scenario where, you know how it always happens, like you're reading something and someone comes up and thwacks you on the head. That's true. You're knocked out. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Let me know what it says. Run the case. Examine. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake wow. and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. Oh no. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. <laughs> I appreciate the heart. <laughs> so someone else is doing so this. So it's someone else, but they think it's the same person. I think as we do us. Yeah, I think we're doing it. 
So they think we are the person,、yes. and we think they're doing stuff to us. The person, someone, someone's got us all twisted around. <sighs> oh shit! So are they? Afraid, does that mean they're done then? They they left? I hope so. But why would someone destroy that? Maybe unless it's someone who's on the same mission as us. Maybe they just don't want fires, and they're like they don't like these girls either. You know, you never know. Be. Could be like a, a vigilante. A vigilante. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? Ooh. Oh, quick time event. Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked. Oh, them. oh my God! Well, did you? No. We just destroyed the radio. Uh, oh shit! Did you attack or do anything that could be perceived as an attack to these campers? Should I be honest? Yeah. <sighs> Fine. No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. Oh. Is, is, I don't know. Weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer.、Hmm. But like, aren't we concerned about the rips? Or no? Yes. Day three. I'm concerned. Me too. <laughs> I'm a little concerned. Definitely. Oopsie! <laughs> Please don't arrest me. <laughs> yeah, we we try to reason with those girls to Gavuzel's point, and it wasn't enough. Nice patching up the window, getting some work done around、We're、here. Doing a fine job. Boards downstairs. How's everything hey, looking、Harry? inside? Oh. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? <gasps> Why are you asking? Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm horribly superficial. Horribly. Burt Reynolds. <laughs> um. Do you like frilly fingers? Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. <laughs> nice.、Uh -huh. Hey, you asked. Okay. Well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a、oh, white guy、me? wearing shorts. Damn, I don't like that. It's hot, and maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, <laughs>、uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my God, you are the whitest <laughs> man! Wow, I don't need a spotting scope for that. Four tucks. Shorts. Then what do you normally like to wear? Nothing. Um. Oh, let's be goofy. Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. Oh, she's going、I'm、along. Cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Hmm. <laughs> good to know, dear. Yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Ooh.、Uh, <laughs> is this flirting? It is flirting. Um. <laughs> A、uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Okay, we can. Is this suspicious? You, I need to know. Oh. What? Oh. Is, is that okay? Uh. I hope I get to see this drawing. Don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. What are our eyes like? Tired. Uh, they look tired, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age, and you just you think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. Oh. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You're welcome. Get what you need. Absolutely. I want to see it. I guess you can mail it over to me. I wanted to、uh, look at this. I don't remember. Is that the last thing? Um. Bow is over. Okay, I. I think this is new. It's new. Okay. Um. I think today is going to be 
normal, although Delilah is having a hell of a time getting the communications wire fixed. Those girls did a real bang up job fucking us over. Hmm. A few days before I left, I got a call from Jules' dad. Realized I hadn't really talked to him over the past few years as much as I thought. I think I was so worried about getting Madeline on the phone whenever I would call that I just stopped calling altogether. I guess that's the sort of thing writing all this stuff down is supposed to make me realize. Anyway, Mick Mick just wanted to see how I was doing and wanted to have me out, and I appreciated it because he's got that ain't no worries bloke attitude, but it doesn't feel right. I bet Madeline's been hard on him. God damn. <laughs> There's something else I realized. Jules liked my parents. She liked them both, but that didn't stop her from laying into me with, you're acting like your father. And I realize now that I love the parts of her that she got from Mick and the parts of her that she got from Madeline scared the living shit out of me. Mm. Except for the whole looks department. No denying she looked out there. Okay. So some communication with the parents. Mm -hmm. So he said a few days before he left. I guess so. And it looks like Delilah has taken quite the interest in us. She really has, hasn't she? She's playing along with her jokes. That's usually a positive sign. Like, is it just because she's, like, lonely? Hi, Bucket. Bucket Jr. How are you, Bucket? Can we feed you anything? I feel like we need to give you some food. Something. Anything. All right, let's put them back. (laughs) So maybe, like, some lot, like, you know, some twigs, some natural. Yeah, make it more comfy. Elements. Than just a box. Come on, Henry. Okay, let's go get some boards. Then our next priority, just to board up the rest of the place. We gotta be prepared. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh. How's your motion sickness? Are you okay? It's not too shabby. I'm a-okay. Get a couple more boards. Ah. All right, we gotta put our, our hog mindset to use. Hogs. Here. I saw one over here. Is this it? Oh, okay. <laughs> now we need like a claw rope to tie it in between. Or like some duct tape and then it'll be all fine. <laughs> Catch him some crickets or something. I feel like we could do that at the very least for could... taking him out of his home. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he had a better life <laughs> out there in the wild. At least but... he's protected from predators. Although I don't know, do turtles have a lot of natural predators? Well, I guess the only thing we may have birds, I guess, but... Do birds attack turtles? I, don't know. I mean, I feel like the shell would be. Yeah. Pretty good protection. What do I know? Number and one. finish it. Finish him. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Watch for fires. You've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. <sighs> What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and wow. call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task <laughs> and uh, I'll give it to you. Damn the sass. Ready to work. Is there anything else like we want to do? Do you think we can go here or is it too early? I don't know. Raccoons can break the shells open? <gasps> wow. Eagles would drop turtles from a height to kill them? Oh, poor little Jeez. guys. Okay, maybe we did the right thing taking Bucket yeah. Jr. Think? All right, here we go. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am there glad she is. to hear you've really thought this through. Actually. Actually. What do you think? Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. <laughs> it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Nice. Ouch. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Wow, that's a lot of pressure. It is. Oh. Now we're starting to skip some days. All right, days, six days have passed. Guess it's been good that everything's been peaceful. Mm-hmm. More or less. Day's gone. Whoa, it's really red. Red means scary. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Pretty. 
I might never leave. <laughs> well, uh, I called with some bad news. No! Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were no. reported missing. <gasps> got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen Shit. them. Shit. Here we go. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Oh, no. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Shit. No. It's worth, it's worth mentioning. I... I think it's worth mentioning something. It's a place to yeah, start. I'll, uh, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. I feel like it's our duty, though. Yeah. <laughs> if we know something. Exactly. Oh. Oh, shit. A murder mystery. Let's go. Maybe not. So they disappeared, huh? Oh, from, from the face of the earth. Hmm. Henry. Henry, wake up. She says uh -oh. she's concerned. What's happening? Get out of bed and pick up the radio. <gasps> okay. Do I have a gun? I need, feel like I need a gun. <laughs> what do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. What? Wait. Uh, what? You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Tired. Aww. I am. Are you having a nice time? <sighs> yeah, it's good here. Wow. It's beautiful, you know. <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. That was Aww, a pretty brief conversation. Listen. Day 33. So we've been here a month. Oh, the supply drop. To bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get hmm. my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and <laughs> I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. Okay. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Wow. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Hey. <laughs> Let's get lit. So we're already pretty close, yeah? Have you been to this one? I think it's the one we've been yeah. to. Yeah. Oh, like... Two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. Oh. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the Aww. walls. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Am I? Wait, is that real? So he actually called her, but he was just like imagining. The conversation. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. Nothing's so, changed here. A couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Javier? Javier? Incredible, <laughs> caring, sexy he was a driller down in Casper. <laughs> we dated for almost five years. Wow. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to 
Get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother oh. got killed working in Gillette. Aww. And for some reason, I didn't come home. Mm. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom. It was not fine. Be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. Damn. I, here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. Bro, right. Delilah. Just lied about it for over 10 years. Wow. And, uh, for some reason, I. So she's got uh, some baggage as well. Yes. Damn. I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Damn, poor Javi. Jeez. Yeah, that's rough. Well, I guess it was nice that Delilah shared, you know? They're getting a bit closer, aren't they? Delilah. I feel like we've, we've told each other a lot of deep stuff. Although I guess if you, that's the only person you have to yeah. talk to, then, you know, you yeah. might say some stuff <laughs> mm -hmm. that you wouldn't otherwise. So I wonder if we have the option to, to like, not take as much stuff. Or like, take, it, or like take everything. What would you do? Leave I'd everyone be, to be hungry? <laughs> I'd be cautious, you know? Isn't it like divided or something? Is it? Wait, did I ever? Yeah. Here we go. Come on. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Nothing else is... Uh, nothing has changed up here, I don't think. I guess not. All right, what do we got? Please be something good. No whammies, no whammies. I am two forks, right? I could take the other stuff. You could. For other lookout. We're not going to do that. And that's it once again, huh? Okay. I'm not going to do it. I wow. want to, but I'm not going to. I know. <laughs> we'll keep it nice and closed. Um, I guess we, we will head home. Heading home. I feel like it's going so fast All now. Right. I know. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Right. <gasps> Another month? Day 64. Uh-oh. It's been, I feel like it's been going pretty smoothly, except for the whole disappearance of the girl. Yeah, girls. they, I guess nothing else came to that. I don't know. <sighs> Not yet, anyway. Tonight, oh, you've got Force. a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Oh God! Yeah, it's really going. Oh God! Oh, then. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Whoa, that's crazy. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. Damn. But why don't you do the honors? Oh, okay. What do you think? The flapjack fire. Delilah. So, no idea. That could be huh? funny. Delilah. Whoa, let's go flapjack. Nice and goofy. Yours. Uh, maybe we call it the flapjack fire. <laughs> Can you sell that as a name? You really flapjack like that, fire. huh? <laughs> yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. <laughs> The flap so it'll just keep burning so for down the hill. And, um, months. You know what my favorite Weeks? thing to do is. What's yeah, up? So. I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. That sounds very nice. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make tequila. margaritas the size of your head. <laughs> wow. You'd like it there. I would if I was with you. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. Oh. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. Hmm. Henry. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost yeah yeah i'm glad you're here what did you see oh okay we're getting crazy now me too good i don't talk to the 
other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. Uh-oh. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but... Oh. It's really nice. I wish I was over there. <gasps> Delilah! Oh! I don't know what to... It'd be nice to be near somebody. We could talk about these radios. We okay, could... this is moving too fast Wait, for me. Wait, is this in his head? I can't tell. What would we do? What could we do? What? What could we do? We'll play board games or something. Well, let me tell you. Delilah. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Set. I need like I need I need a break to talk about whoa. this. Whoa, 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 You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. Well stop talking, please. Me. Oh my I god. Keep hearing reports from fish and game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. <gasps> a bear? Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks Roar. and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. <laughs> problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. <laughs> Come on, please. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Okay. I right, we need to dial Let's it back a little bit. Pause a second. Here. First off, you know what? I'm gonna have to go full screen for this because I, I feel like I have some things. Wait, to does say. Hen does Henry still have his ring on? Uh, I think so. Interesting. Um, wow, what a development. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love how to go full screen. You know. I guess I'm not surprised the romance developed, but I have some concerns. Yes. First of all, I don't think Henry's in a place right now where not to say that like he doesn't deserve love or anything, but I feel like he's not in a place right now. Like he needs more time, I feel like, to kind of like he still doesn't really seem to know what he wants regarding right. jewels. Yeah. But, like he feels like he should be there, but that he's not. Is this he's like he's kind of like running away. Exactly. I feel like he should not be inviting new love into his life right now like he should sit with himself exactly some self-reflection i know also i feel like it's a little weird of delilah she because he she knows the situation she knows the situation it kind of feels like a bit i don't want to say predatory but it's a little weird that of all the people she can talk to, she, you know, she's she's going for the one who has the most baggage, probably. Oh, yeah, all right. Interesting. Wow. That was... I mean, I get it. They have, like, a good back and forth. Their I personalities know. seem to mesh. But I feel like this is the first moment where I've kind of felt like Delilah could be up to something. Like, using Henry's weakness. But I don't know why she would be doing that. Well, let's just say the fire isn't the only thing heating up. It is uh, Delilah and Henry. And it seems like even though, like, I didn't have a lot of options. You know, I could either like not say anything or right. respond positively. So it feels like Henry is definitely kind of falling. Guiding to it, right? For this. It could be completely innocent. It could just be two people who have a lot of baggage, who are really connecting. I know. But it doesn't feel like the best situation. That's, I mean, usually I'm all for romance. Like I'll go for the romance right. options. I would have, yeah, but- But it just this. felt a little wrong in it this did. situation. Yeah, like he's trying to fill a void. I think that's a good way to put it. Mm. And I just don't know what Delilah wants out of it. Is it purely just she's lonely? They're connecting and she likes him? Right. Or is there something, an ulterior motive? Yeah. Plus, yeah, Julia. You know, she has no idea what's going on. I mean, it wasn't that long ago where we radioed her talking to Julia in our sleep. Yeah. Oh my god. But it's... maybe things are advancing more quickly because they're so isolated and there's not like right. much more to do. I know. <laughs> I don't know. Basically, right now, I have mixed feelings about it. 
I'm, yeah. I'm a little uncertain. It's getting intense though, for sure. Like he came out here, right? To kind of- Get away. Get away, but also I feel like to sort through things. And That's right now, too. he's not doing that. He is focusing on Delilah. He's ignoring the problem. Exactly. Okay. Delilah is a good distraction. And now we have a bear. <laughs> and bears. Where the heck are we? Oh, so we're close to Wapiti. Because we're checking out the lake. Well, maybe then we could go take a look if we do a little detour. Are able to. Do you remember the show Little Bear? Uh, Speaking of bears. Just a, just a little. Not not very much. I like that show. I don't feel like it's one that I watched a lot. That was my that was my my jam. Like right before school, or like if I would if I was ever like sick from school, put on he had blues clues, Franklin. <laughs> Franklin. Little bear. <laughs> that was great. Bear. Uh, well, it seems to be a beautiful day. I hope we run into a bear. That would be great. Just, uh, you know, get some excitement. So, nothing ever progressed with the missing girls? I guess it, it's just kind of an in-progress thing. I guess like... so. Wow. So, no murder mysteries? What's this? Notes. A notebook. Or a clipboard. clipboard. What? Those are some fun sounding birds. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. Well, it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Uh oh. I snatched that clipboard. What's this say? <gasps> I said Julia. What? The, uh, what? It's. Holy shit. Fire routes? What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? What? Wait, is Someone this our conversation? What we said to each other have <sighs> been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No. Feelings for. What's that? 2H? Two hours. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Oh my god. Ha! <laughs> ah! I'm worried. <laughs> did they want us to find this? Someone's stalking us! Eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Would you kill Paul God, McCartney? Just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Yeah, oh, give me a minute. I just called you that. Okay. So, 2H is Delilah, right? And we're 2F? Uh, uh oh. Maybe just drunk. Is it just some random person that's just like taken to our conversations? It's pretty weird. Whatever it is. Would you kill Paul McCartney to bring back Jimi Hendrix? <laughs> I mean, it's tempting, but you, if you if you kill Paul McCartney, depending on when you do it, you don't get the Christmas time. Simply. Oh. <laughs> so maybe I have to win for you. Yeah. There you go. Is this the canyon? Oh, what is that? Beer. <gasps> is it or no? Oh, oh the radio. It's a radio. I found a walkie-talkie out here too. Uh, okay. It's going shit house. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. We'll do. Yo, this is getting intense. <gasps> what was that? Oh fuck! <laughs> jump scared. I know oh, it. I know it. I know that would happen. Yeah. We got jump scared. Hey, ah! Are you there? Yo, we just got rocked. What happened, Henry? I, someone knocked me the crap out. I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. And it's gone. Serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What uh, else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I... 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 I don't know. WTF. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before us called Wapiti. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? <laughs> uh... Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's... It's on our map. It's not too far from where you here are. Here we go. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's <gasps> north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere... Oh, shit! Jonesy Lake. I'll... Uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it. Can we, like, call in some backup? Are you... Are you sure you saw what 
what you saw, Henry. Yes. Henry, you pissed off some more campers, and they came back to. Are you trying to you. gaslight me? Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names. H exactly. D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? She, oh my gosh, fine. she's gaslighting me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. They've probably no, been doing this for ages. What's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Oh, shit. Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Bucket. Bucket. <laughs> I'll get to the I'll bottom of this. <laughs> Great. We'll just keep it I got the fist for it. <laughs> you don't do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You well, what if boss. they're trying to kill me? Exactly. We've already been attacked. Whoopity boppity, skippity tappity. Just a lot of craziness. <laughs> I would also, clocks. I would also realistically definitely leave. Like Get if I made it, out if I got like hit in the head by somebody and they didn't kill me, like why take the chance again? Yeah, just just leave. Like the fact knowing that this man could have killed you, you know, if he wanted to, he had your. This guy had your his hands. Yeah, your life in his hands, and he decided not to do anything. Besides, <laughs> hit you in the back of the head. Do you think it's just for fun? I don't is know. Is it, or is there, like, what would be the purpose is for listening someone, unless someone's trying to play some mind games? Do you think it's somehow connected to any of our stories? What if it's Javier? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy. Javi, Javi's back from the depths. Oh, yeah, fishing. I forgot the fish. Oh, it's ash from the fire. That makes more sense. I forgot about the fire. That makes, yeah, that makes sense. Wow. Also, oh, the pronunciation, wapity? <laughs> wapity dappity. Wapity? Wapity. Wapity. It sounds like a, I don't know, like a dance or something. Imagine if we would have said that. Do the wapity. All right, so we're really close to where we need to be. Yeah, that was crazy. Cra and just... he was so close by. These are heating up, They bro. are. Is this right? I think so. I'm excited though. Yeah, see? This is what I'm talking about. Mystery. Suspense. Mm -hmm. Psychological thriller. Yeah. Being hunted. You know, they we're the right people for the job. We're detectives at yes. heart. We we will crack this case. I do wish we had something to defend ourselves though. Yes. Because I feel like anyone could be hiding behind like any rock, behind a tree. Yeah. There's so many hiding spots. We're going to crack this case before we get cracked over the head again. So do you think it's the mysterious man we found? It has saw, to be. Or could it be someone different? Oh, yeah, we were supposed to look for bear tracks as well. <laughs> Can you use the turtle as self-defense? <laughs> this is Mario. <laughs> yeah, just spin him. <laughs> okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is yeah, we could, we could big hop over right here. Off in both directions. Eight For days. sure. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. <sighs> Looks like goddamn Area 51. <laughs> Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Uh oh, it would. We'll see about that. Then we should get a gun. Maybe. maybe okay. The other thing I can see is like. Oh, chop, chop down. down. I want to chop the tree down. Is that how we get across? I think so. Like maybe they are doing something, like this government entity or something out here, but. And the reason why they're listening is to us is to make sure that we don't, we're not prying into their business. But what? Why would they care if like we have feelings for each other or anything? That's true too. Some of those notes are pretty d detailed, right? Yeah. Yeah. What's this? Oh, it's not. Unless it's just we're like, a tree. <laughs> <laughs> unless we're like rablat or rab, rat. Rats? Rab lats. Rat? Wait. Wait. Lab wait, rats. Well, lab rat. wait, what'd you say? Oh, you did it to Rab lat. You did it to me. <laughs> I heard you. I said it too. That's a tongue twister? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's... Rab lats. 
<laughs> sorry, sir. No, it's fine. It's I'm rubbing off on you. Well, we've got a door here with a padlock. <laughs> Loose stone. Oh, I can use it to break it, I bet. Yeah. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Shove. Damn. <laughs> there you go. One more time. No? <laughs> Gotta make my hand bloody. <laughs> Well, at least we have a convenient loose stone over here. Multiple. Hopefully this is rusty. Uh, that did not seem to work, did it? Yeah, I think it did. Can't get in, no. <laughs> can we use the other one? Maybe. Oh, Maybe we can somehow. Maybe one's not enough. Maybe it was the wrong rock. Damn. We need Dwayne the Rock Johnson. He can open this door. Look, I'm not gonna be able to get into this place. Ah, oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. Come on. God, if you were an actual that. firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. <laughs> hey, I feel like we could be trying a little harder. Burn. They might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Okay. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Sweet. Hey, other humans? No, we're not gonna see anyone. They might be dead. South of Ruby River. Oh, wow. that's where we couldn't get to before. Wow, we've got a long way to go. Can we fast travel? <laughs> <laughs> I really have no idea which way this is going. What? Like, yeah, this can go like many different ways. One, it's just like one big misunderstanding. Or we can get really like psychological. Oh. Or peaceful. Like the music. I thought the music was signaling danger for a moment. No. <laughs> but it's all good. Peace and calmness. All right, should we go up or through the river? This sounds like a Resident Evil save room theme. I like it. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Ooh. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Yeah. Have, like the one I use? Yes. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Yeah. That's maybe absolutely what yeah. I think. our frequency with other radios or something. Henry. It's just a thought. How I found I, evidence I how of them listening. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin. No. I don't think Delilah talking. is taking this seriously enough. You yes. Say, She's just saying that because, I mean, she was the one that got clocked in the head. I mean, I guess it would make sense to try not to get, like, too freaked out. <sighs> if we're kind of on our own out here, but... It really feels like Delilah doesn't really believe us. Do you think she's in on it? No, nah, she wouldn't be. She, maybe that's why she's so nervous. Because we're figuring stuff out. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. At this point, I'm kind of like 50-50 on whether Delilah is Because she's really someone playing to be things. She's playing things off. But you shouldn't be in the situation. But she does want to get into Wapity. Wapity Doppity. <laughs> yeah. So she's pushing us to do that. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. Me either. I don't no. like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. Mm. Just yeah. Me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. <sighs> I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know. Ned, Ned was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Hmm. Yeah. Ryan is fine. 
I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Is he though? So it's possible this has been going on for a long time, but just no one Has realize been, either or that or someone's getting paid off hmm. but you never know the whole situation does feel a little suspicious because why would that clipboard have been laying out why would the walkie talkie have just been on the path dropped dropped it's like it was there as a trap or something but then they just knocked me out yeah like why would the like did they get something out of that maybe like steal something off of me or use that time i was out to do something yeah well, why would they just leave that there and why would they just drop their yeah because if they do have like are listening to every conversation then they probably know at all times where henry is going because he's always telling delilah yeah i'll use this to do oh flapjack whoa the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere huh no that's why those guys came out to burn that line it's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it they're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Hmm. I do wish that instead of, or in addition to drop, they also had a throw, because it's very unsatisfying <laughs> for that to be the result. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> you can't just drop a baseball. Yeah. Well, let's go take a quick look in my tower, actually. I wanna see if I have any more uh, writing to read. There was a meteor shower last night and man, if you've never been a hundred miles from a street light during one, you're really missing out. I sat outside with my feet on the railing and watched them zoom overhead until three in the morning. Mm. Even with the fires still burning, they were the brightest shooting stars I've ever seen. D hung in till past midnight and we had a good time watching them together. I've been thinking a lot about life after working out here. One thing is for sure, I want to come back next year. Would be great if D was back in Thoroughfare and I got to do Two Forks again. D was saying that the Forest Service likes to keep people on the same lookouts. Mm -hmm. You get better at the job that way, I guess. So maybe I'll leave my typewriter out here over the winter so I don't have to hike out with it on my back. Okay. After the season, I was thinking I'd see if there was more NFS work out there or call up Dixon at Cotton Mountain and see about working at the slopes. Would be nice to get back into skiing, and honestly, after a couple of months being outside, I'm not sure I'm ready to be stuck indoors. We'll see. Well, based on that, it seems he has no intention of going back no, to see Julia. No, didn't mention Julia at all. He likes this new little life he has here. Interesting. Like, I, I'm happy, like, he was in a pretty bad state when we first met him. So, like, I'm happy that he's doing better, but it still kind of feels like he's just ignoring the problem. That whole situation with Julie isn't resolved. Yeah. Anyway. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that fantasy map from before looks right. like it was made by Brian Goodman. Did I, I didn't say that before, did I? The matches everything in that folder I found. I thought you did, but... Hmm. Maybe it just fell out a while back? I guess. Do you think this has, like, any clues to where, like, what might be going on? It does say Iron Fortress where, is that where Whoopi, yeah. Whoppity, <laughs> Whoppity Doppity. Whoppity is? Yeah. Iron Fortress, what could that mean? Unless that's just the fence. Yeah, that's just what, the, I, that's what they're saying. I think it was a trap they forgot about the clipboard and had to knock you out and get it back. Okay, that would make sense. Yeah. That's true. Oh, uh, so must, that must have been quick then. Like, oh shit, they saw my, you know, they were fast acting. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> He's just... Is he getting bigger? <laughs> Does he look bigger? I don't think so. He's just kind of like... I don't know. <laughs> He's whoppity doppity. Okay. What? Wait. Did we have this before? Don't tread on me! <gasps> That's what... Yeah, Bill. Wow. Oh, no. Emotions. Wine. <sighs> nice music. Yeah. I haven't taken any more pictures. So you should have, what, 17, right? I have plenty. You think we'll be able to see Delilah's drawing? That'd be cool. Ooh. Recent burn. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. 
Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Sweet. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Literally. Ugh. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so Delilah is on edge as well. Yeah. So maybe she is in on it. Or she's really good. Maybe we should have taken this. a picture of the clipboard. That would have been good evidence. Could you, like, was it once you picked it up? Or just, like, oh, I but gotta... you're saying before you picked it up, take yeah. a picture of it. Yeah. Or even the radio, something to back up our story. I know, we got nothing. Oh, I was going to say, in addition to this being a fun game, just a fun experience, I feel like I am learning a lot about forest fires. Like, I don't, we don't really live in an area where that's a concern. Yeah. For the most part, so it's it's been interesting. Mm hmm Oh, okay. I the music was done. It's not. It's just beginning. Yes, we do have a camera. It's a cute little disposable Yes. camera. I'm sure it would be hip Ooh. nowadays, you know, <laughs> with the retro and... Yes. So we're going... Okay, so we're supposed to go east, so we will go west. Yeah. This reminds me a little bit of a band that's older band called Air. If you don't know who Air is, they did the soundtrack for a movie called The Version of Suicides. They have a pretty uh, famous song mm. from that movie. This is a nice big tree. It is. <laughs> Entitled Big Tree. We updated our map with this. Big Tree. <laughs> is this, maybe this is a, an important landmark for later. Ah, yes. Oh, left? For a second there, I thought I, that was a shotgun. This feels like a thing we could, we should radio about. It's just a random Boom, ski. ski. Cash. Cash money. Open sesame. It's four, three, two, one. Sesame seeds. Sesame oil. Sesame oil. Sesame streets. <laughs> just one. Okay. A book! Three blind rats. Who is it? It's uh, your boy Sturgeon. Richard, Richard Sturgeon. This one's ripped up. Richard M.F. Sturgeon. Hmm. FBI informant. Oh, nice. Neil. Yeah, Neil Black. <laughs> Neil Black. Wow, 250? That's pretty cheap. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I want to protect you. There we go. Protect the book at all costs. I guess this one is uh, pretty empty, isn't it? Um, yeah, I guess so. I wonder if there is an achievement related to the books. I something. feel like there is something. There has to be something. There's got to be something. Yeah, we're on the hunt for a mystery killer. It's not a killer, right? Like, what? Like, is there? You think there's any way it could be just like a misunderstanding? And it's like a normal thing. Like, <laughs> there's no way, right? People are listening to this. Yeah. Or I feel hopefully, like it's not like, weird. oh, it's all in our heads. Or anything, because he has imagined stuff before with Delilah. Yeah. Or with uh, Julia. That'd be a pretty crazy thing to be in our For heads. sure. I mean, we saw him get knocked out, right? Like, that can't be mm -hmm. faked. I'm I'm pretty sure these guys are not going to be here. They'll probably already have moved on or something. But you never know. It would feel very weird to see a person out here after not seeing anybody this whole time yeah besides the the girls right yeah you haven't seen it in this whole game and the mysterious Freaker. stranger yeah 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 oh what's this is that another is it 10 yeah yeah or machine wait a minute a snowmobile what, what? Oh. there's some old snowmobiles out here 
That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. Mm. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. So we have skis. So this stuff is from a pretty old trip here. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Stripped, stripped engine. engine. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. And that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. So uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign Pork up for it, pond? but, um, <laughs> well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. <laughs> that sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Did she steal it? <laughs> oh. Maybe. Delilah. Yeah, this is pretty nasty. Gross. There's mm -hmm. probably so many mosquitoes in here. Or bodies. Or bodies. I mean, it's not very deep, so it wouldn't be very good at concealing <laughs> them. Yes, oh. yeah, I guess if anyone is listening. Yeah. I, we're, we're being a little too liberal with our locations, right. with what we're doing. Shouldn't we? Yeah, that's something to really think about. Like, come on, Henry. You know what's going on here is a little suspicious at the very least. You gotta be throwing them off somehow. Yeah, we should say we're somewhere else. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah and then like, I go, how, how would we get that across to Delilah? I don't know. Shit. <laughs> she doesn't have to know. Exactly. She doesn't believe me that much anyway. <laughs> True. Oh, oh. oh, death. Oh, death, oh, death. Camp. Okay, camp. A camp. Are we here? Should we go? Let's check out this area first. <gasps> oh no. Oh, what do we report first? Camp Arapaho. Arapaho. You there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the fifties. Mm. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Or is that right with me? Beware of weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. <laughs> True. Excuse me. The bridge to the camp is out. Oh. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. I can't cross here. You can jump. You know, I said it before, I'll say it again. Nice font in this game. I just, every yeah. time I look at the, the text, it's, a great it's font. just so pleasing. Okay. <laughs> Back over. Maybe it's back over. Do we follow no. the smoke? No. Okay, so we're looking for a way to cross. Oh, oh, we can drop right here. Okay. Let's go. I think this. I guess we're good. There's nothing. We already looked everywhere around here for the moment. Mm -hmm. We got the cash. Our current objective is to find firefighters, <laughs> so they can give us an axe. Maybe cut down the. Mm -hmm. Fence. We're still trying to get into the fence, fence. right? Yeah, maybe we'll get, get an axe. I bet. They're, they have to have left one behind or something. Yeah, no one's going to be there, right? And there's going to be an axe there, for okay. sure. Let's do it. Ah! Oh, oh, my knees. Ow, I felt that. Oh. <laughs> Totem pole. Oh, this is my way back That's over. That's where you get back with the axe. Yep. Sweet. Let's go. We're gonna be a lumberjack. Okay, I see the camp up ahead. That's the bridge that was out. Mm. Cool. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. It's a bit of a rundown place. Yeah, not really welcoming. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. <laughs> Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. 
what type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like a uh, marching band? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Like comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. I oh. see. Oh. See, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. Cool. What? Impressive. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. You think it'll come back What's to the this? good ones? I don't know. Maybe. <gasps> oh, another missing person. It's the same guy. Or a different guy. It's the same, I think. Yeah, Mitch yeah. Michaels. Mitch Michaels. Oh! Bear traps! <laughs> I did not see that. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Delilah, you're <laughs> starting to freak us out a little bit. Well, I would not want to be the one staying in this one. <laughs> no. Okay, it looks like there's pretty much nothing over here. What is this? Just some... Okay, just a... Okay, a bin. Let's push forward. Onward and upward. There it is, baby. Yeah, these oh, guys yeah. Found, found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. What's this? A memo. What should I get first? Maybe the axe. <laughs> Axe like, or the memo. <laughs> right okay, so now. this is like a little like performance. Yeah. Area. This one time at fun. <laughs> oh, we have another thing we can chop down here. Where does this go? Yeah. There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way. Mm. A horse? I want a horse. Do you? Your track record <laughs> of horses have not been great lately. Shh. Let's just, you know, well, yeah, I don't want to spoil too much for you guys. Uh, but. I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. A Pulaski? It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Oh, yeah. How do I use it? Let me swing. Maybe that's not the purpose. <laughs> hey, D, they left something behind. It's like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Hmm. Huh. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Dr. Simmons. Wapiti Station. Holy crap. Keep reading. Okay. Oh, just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there. Let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. <laughs> They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. So it is research. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I don't know. They aren't very interesting. Could they be? No, they wouldn't be researching us, right? I don't know. You're not. I'm infinitely complex. I don't know. I feel like none of these are good us. answers. They're researching us. You... You think they're studying? I don't think they age. actually are. I do. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, <laughs> what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. <gasps> I, I feel like the person who has vandalized and all that doesn't necessarily have to be related to Wapiti. Right. I feel like, it, like they don't really make sense to be really. I don't know. Squad boss Carson, in the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on the behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons, 
at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildlife concerns. Oh, wildfire. Excuse me. About his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Um, assistant superintendent. Yeah, so did they, did they get research about like just people well, like these this job specifically specifically? I don't like know. Like us, like me and Delilah. <sighs> I don't think so. I don't know. Here we go. Oh, that yeah. was easy. What a chop! I feel now, like we could have done that with our bare hands. <laughs> I don't know. You don't believe me? Maybe. Like, got the the the. Spiky, Just ripped it apart. With the spiky woods, you get yes. you get splinters. Do you see these hands? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we should be getting the axe and like dragging it on the ground and being like, "Daddy, Delilah." <laughs> really, we'd be going crazy now. We're playing the forest. Ah. <laughs> nice one. So now we have to go all the way back. Oh back. My gosh. Wait. Is there maybe there's a shortcut? Right? What's it? Um, maybe not. I forget where it was. Does it show those those brambles that need chopped yeah. as well? Is that what that squiggly thing is? I think so. The like the, the spikes? I think yeah, so. Yeah, so maybe that's another shortcut. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've got to make our way over there, so... Hey there. Oh! I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or hmm. you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. <gasps> oh, fuck. oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? Oh, shit. No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. But I, yo, I gotta go to Wapiti. <laughs> no, oh. Wapiti. Damn, that was that was nice. That was cool. Nice one, Delilah. That was a oh. man. Yeah, Delilah. Do you believe us now? <laughs> Look at it. Did you hear it? We're not crazy. <laughs> Shit, that was that was creepy. I liked that. Thoroughfare <laughs> Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the oh fiftieth time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer the radio. <gasps> Delilah. Hello. Hello, sunshine. Oh. Sorry, I went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up. Why is she acting tower? so normal? Yeah. But yes. It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, code? The surrounding trees, Jesus species, is a code. etc. Uh, uh, all right. Right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Oh, Make God. Make sure it's in ship shape. <gasps> okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like it's this? It's code, Henry. Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Second from sure. the left. Cottonwood. The, uh... No. Do you don't need to tell me, just, um... Internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Mm. Maybe. Oh, it's that big tree. Wait. Oh, we're fine. Oh, it. Oh. Ah. Oh. 
I was too late. It's fine. I think we got the idea. Yes. But what about Wapiti? <laughs> Wapiti Bopiti. We'll be back, right? You think? Yeah, we have to be. It all comes back to Wapiti. Okay, she wants me to go back to the big tree. The big tree. Not just a tree. Ooh, are you scared? I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. It's just, I'm a, I'm a little scared, but I'm mostly perplexed. Perple yeah, I'm, I'm perplexed. Confu oh, Biff. Biff. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Like the actual, is it, you said it's Jif, right? Jif peanut butter? Yeah. Yeah. People say like GIF. But it's it's J, isn't it? Yeah, but like it's I think isn't there like a debate on how but it's that, pronounced? But that's with G I F GIF. Like I know, but people still pronounce it that way. But are you talking about GIF peanut butter? Yeah. But that's spelled differently. I know, but people like still like But you but you can't pronounce a J as a G. Some people would disagree. No, that's not <laughs> true. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah! <laughs> What the fuck difference a day makes? Holy hell, I don't even know where to begin. It's late, past midnight, so I'm going to write down everything that happened today as fast as I can. Mm. I went down to the lake and found a clipboard and walkie talkie and I don't know how to describe this. I don't know what to say other than someone is listening in to Delilah and I. I know that sounds crazy, but someone is out here listening to us and attacked me. They're taking notes about our conversations. We think there might be some sort of study going on, like maybe we were given these jobs not just to look for fires, but to be part of a behavioral study or something. Fuck, I know this all sounds insane. It is insane. I don't know how to explain any of it. Delilah definitely heard someone on our walkie talkies too. It wasn't just me. I'm rambling here. She heard someone too. I tried calling her a couple times tonight, but we don't want to talk on these anymore. I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, scary. It okay, is. bash this whiskey over someone's head. Yeah. Oh, we're not wearing the ring anymore. <gasps> Ooh. Can I put it on? I can. <sighs> Should we put on the ring? Damn, man has not been wearing the ring. You took it off. Wow. That speaks I volumes. I mean, what would me putting it back on, like, do you, like would it have any effect? Yeah, I know. I know. I'm gonna put it on. Let's not forget why we're here in the first place. Right. Henry. Yeah. And we're back looking at the flapjack fire. <laughs> wow. What are we doing? Oh, right, going to the big tree. The big tree. It is really smoky now, isn't it? It is. It can't be good for your lungs. It's almost like as the, you know, as the investigation heats up and gets more intense, it's like the atmosphere as well is feeding off that energy. True. You know, the smoke is, yeah, smoke and mirrors, exactly. That's a good point. Um, yes. Yes, here we go. I can make it from here. Yeah. La, 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 la. <laughs> We might end up having to evacuate anyway with the fire. You think we'll actually see Delilah? Make her face. I'm gonna guess no. Did they, what if they made, how would you feel if they made like a big decision at the end? Like, no, nah, there's probably not multiple endings. There's not multiple endings. I was gonna say like, oh yeah, they have to like face up to Julia or like run away with Delilah. I guess you never know. Never know. Do you think, well, what could be here? Why does she want me to go here? Because she can't, she, she can't, wouldn't be over here. No. Unless she somehow left me something. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Also, uh, we, I, I gotta say my first priority is Bucket Jr. I hope we don't leave him behind. Yeah. That would be horrible. I hear rustling in the bushes. Yeah, I can't tell if that's just nature or a predator. Let's see. This is the big tree, right? Or are we... Yeah, am I supposed to do something? I mean, I'm not supposed to use the radio. Is there like... Oh, we're going to the creek. Oh. Maybe a bit further down. Hello? 
Please don't kill me. Does anyone... Don't say the actual location, though. Hopefully, I, I know. Are we, maybe he'll just say, like, I'm where you told me to go. Yeah, I'm here. At oh. Wood Creek. You see the cash box there? Oh. Uh, it must be around oh. here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding <laughs> Wow. Me? That's not much better. <laughs> oh, here we go. Wait, so she can be around here? I guess she did make it over. Huh. Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. I still feel like he shouldn't have said anything, though. I know. He could have just said, I'm where you told me to go. Yeah, come on now. Use your brains, guys. And I guess Delilah was cool with it. What's this? <gasps> ah, maybe should I report on this? Hey. <laughs> Get out of here. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. Mm. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Nice. Cool. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, <laughs> we have to get into that site. Yeah. Let's do it. You are in on this. What? Whatever these what the fuck is going on? People oh. are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? All right, show Henry. It's not her radios fault. radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. Ooh, the music. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? But why? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. What? Come on, man. This isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Is this like endgame here? Could be. It might be nearing the end. I just feel like there's so many possibilities right now. I feel like I feel like this is the most unsure I've been hey, for a while. Uh, I just thought of something not um not great. What? What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those I told you not to do that. The ones that went missing. Wow. <laughs> What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep yeah. it fake. Whoa. I know. And I didn't. I I, I just didn't want to be half Come on, Delilah. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Delilah, you oh, bum! Are still missing. Yep. Fuck. Well, it's not my fault. <laughs> Indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Now our own lives are on the line here. Yeah. But I mean, to be fair, I did tell her to do it and she didn't. So I feel like she hey, would ha take the fall right. for that one. Yeah. Not me. That's Delilah. All Delilah. What do you think? What was up here? Hawk's Rest? That, that little, that's a bramble, right? Yeah. Do you think that's anything? I don't know. Maybe we should check. Is there anywhere else that's uncertain about what's there? I know there's this one up here, this tree. Which is just a whoppity. <laughs> whoppity. <laughs> there was another bramble up there, but maybe that's a shortcut to something. Mm. Okay. It's up to you. Get ready for a run, Henry. Yeah, the, the lighting looks really cool right now with like the smoke and like the sun looks almost yeah, green. Yeah, plus that the music out of the mystery and like the urgent, just urgency and the kind of state we're in right now. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Uh, what the something. fuck? What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying though. Well, it could be an elk. Okay. Or 
It could be someone trying to get you to radio about <gasps> loud noise so they know where you are. <gasps> Fuck. Well, we have new radios. How about you don't do that again? Wow. Don't do, but, but we have new radios. I thought that was the point of the new radios. Mm. Are we not safe still? I don't know. Wait. Are we getting there? Wait a second. Is this not anything? Oh. Aha. Huzzah. What does this go to? Hack and slash. Anything? Nothing? This is, prepar this is preparing you for Bloodborne. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> Shortcut? <gasps> Oh, let's go, yes! lore. Oh, I feel so satisfied right now. Let's get that lore. Let's get that lore. <gasps> Is that a cassette tape? Is it that, that, oh, it's Dave and Ron. Ron. You sing a, sung a song, right? Dave, hey -o. Debbie told me about what happened at Cassie's and I just wanted to say I'm real sorry. That's just fucked, totally. I wish I would have been there. I would have kicked the living shit out of every one of those dumb hicks. Debbie was trying to explain why they'd kick your ass so good, and I just don't get it. Fucked. Anyway, man, I don't really know how to get a hold of you. I sent a note up to the hospital in Billings, but I'm not even sure you're still there. Debbie and I are talking about heading up to Alaska in the spring, so I'm not sure I'll be out here again. So, yeah. Maybe you'll get this note in May. Nobody uses these things anymore. Also, dude, I found this old song in a shitter near Hawk's Rest. The song, someone mentioned this before. Yeah. Appropriate place for it, really. And thought I'd give it the Ron treatment for you. Dig it. Get better, amigo. Find me if you ever, you're ever in Sitka. Sitka. Later on, Ron. That, that's not blood, is it? Do you know whatever happened to Dave the Ranger? No, why? I was just wondering about him and the other guy, Ron. Last I heard, Ron was in Alaska. His ex-girlfriend, Debbie, is the one who works the Forest Service desk in Cody. Well, Dave got beat up pretty bad in a bar fight last year. Hmm. Huh. I never heard about that. I've heard people give him a hard time because he, uh, isn't exactly a ladies' man. That's just bullshit. I agree. People are shitty. Yeah. Damn. Huh. So do we have a cassette player? No, right? Do we have I, to find it somewhere I else? I don't feel like we do. Shit. Let's hold on to this. Is there one in here? Probably not. So <laughs> Boss tracks. I found notes between these two rangers, Ron and Dave. You know them? Yeah. What do they have to do with anything? Well, nothing, I don't think. I just found a cassette tape one of them left for the other. Do you think it could be anything like the tape you have of us? No, I think it's just music. Well, if it's the new Millie Vanilli, it could be just as incriminating. The tape... Wait. Wait. The tape of us? The tape of us? What does that mean? Yeah. That's kind of weird. Well, we'll hold on to it. We got a tape. Can we recycle these? Damn. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Is this... Maybe this is where Dave was when he got it. He read it. He was drinking a bunch of alcohol. So do you think that uh, Dave... Probably... Do you think that Dave had feelings for Ron? Oh. And that's why he was all depressed here, drinking. Oh. Reading the note because he'd never see him again. Yeah. That's kind of sad if that is the case. I don't know what happened to him, but. Right. I wonder if we weren't supposed to find this yet. Uh oh. Why? Did we bring sequence? Like as far as like the whole thing with her saying the tape, like did our tape. Oh yeah, I don't know. Our like, did we break sequence of something? That could be discon disconcerting. Oh well, well if it is, we'll find hey. out later. Hey, it's not our problem. You know, we're just, just too good at yeah, finding stuff. Exactly. <laughs> Listen, if you if you give me an open world environment, you know, you just have to expect I'm going to like and like the opportunity to find stuff. Then I'm going to I'm going to try to find stuff. That's just the way it is. Well, then hopefully we'll be able to play it later. Hopefully I just said hopefully twice. Hopefully, hopefully. I really want to listen to the tape. 
Did you ever use? Did you ever have a cassette um, player? I did not. So, I just had a CD player. Yeah, the earliest thing was the B- CD player, like <laughs> saving. I think it just saves when I leave oh, that area. Okay, that was cool, man. Just like being able to just have this little portable CD, pop it open, Twas. put your CD in, have those busted ass headphones. Mm. Oh gosh. Yeah, I would always. I, I feel like I would probably listen to my CD player on the bus to school. Yeah. You know, it was the for me it was the late '90s, early 2000s. So I was listening to. You know, Limp Biscuits, um, Chocolate Starfish, and the Hot Dog Flavored Water. What? Yeah, that's a that's a real album. Yeah, I had a black one with like a blue middle. I guess that sounds cool. I mean, it was it was nothing special. Better than mine. I feel like I didn't have a lot of uh, CDs, but I did. I do remember I had a Hillary Duff CD, and I had a Cheetah Girls CD. Cheetah Girls, Cheetah Sister. What? <laughs> you don't you don't think I knew Cheetah Girls? You're a Cheetah Girls fan? Wow, how did you not wow. Why would you why would you be a Cheetah Girls fan? Like why well, why would you ever have watched that? Well, like every time like you know, Disney I used to, I was a Disney kid and like they would always show like clips on that and like the songs. They'd have like music videos on there, so like it was mm. catchy, you know. Raven Simone, Raven. Good stuff. That's so Raven. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know where this goes. There's only one way to find out. Oh god, that's a long drop. That is. That's Gross. death. What's that? That's a rock. <laughs> Any more evidence to take pictures of? Uh yes. Or is this just another It's just another way to leave? Aw oh, man. Bullocks. There we go. Let's, Let's do it. Let's go. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. Oh, the music. Sinister. Suspense. <laughs> yeah. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. We're going in. I'm scared. <laughs> oh! Ah! <laughs> Ah, oh, I hope you're not allergic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Wow. Rude. Yes, kind of. Uh, okay, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's this? If you're trying to research, reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Immediately. Okay, that's nothing too interesting. No, not yet, anyway. I need a flashlight, bro. It's yeah. getting dark. The music's kind of tense, too. What? Like, I feel like we're gonna get chased. Ooh. What's that? Is that something? No, it's just a- I thought it was like hands moving in a grave. I'm seeing things. You know, it would be really cool if you could have vision like this in real life, where you can just, <laughs> just zoom in a little bit. That'd be great. It would. Without using any instruments or... Maybe that could be the next stage of human evolution. Evolution. <laughs> Zoom vision. Ooh, those, I see. The, I hear those synths. Whoa. And I like it. Whoa, cool. Very cool atmosphere for sure. It's so bright you can see it through the trees. Maybe it could. Would it be weird to get like a key to the mine from here? Hmm. I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. I feel like we're about to uncover some like big mystery, like based off this music. Is this it? <laughs> Ooh. 
Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Well, that's concerning. It is. What else we got? Oh, I see that. Okay. It's getting tense. Hello? Feel very exposed. I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. Another one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's making lots of uh, techie sounds. <laughs> There's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Yeah. Oh, take yeah, go, take pictures. Goozle says. <gasps> sure, why not? We got you on camera now. Get the ah. whole thing. Photo mode. Okay, I think that covers that. Oh, oh, I didn't even see this. You're in the soil grid. <laughs> I'm doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. Uh, Get this too. The yeah, the background there. It's a great angle. Put it on my Instagram. <laughs> it's the. What did you do this summer? I investigated mysterious tents. <laughs> Lots boxes. of boxes, ladder. A mysterious ladder. All right, let's take a look inside. This looks like people could have been here recently. Oh, what are all these papers though scattered? It's been ransacked. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. They also have Biff. It's GIF. <laughs> Pasta sauce. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. Got it. What if Lantern, like, we get hit in the head again? Sturdy leather belt. Bulletin board. Thermos, stove, lots of notes, supplies, graphs. Someone in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at this. Ooh, that seems important. Okay. Cot. Right. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots <sighs> here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. Huh. Like Earthquake. Us. Yeah, like us. Fill generator Wednesday and Sunday. Okay, nothing too crazy. Oh yeah, there's bolt. There's it's marked in certain spots. Yeah. Is that the cave? No. Is it? It might. It could be. I think it might be the cave. Hmm. Maybe they're in there too. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my our people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. Wait a second. This says avoidance behaviors, consult previous data, unreciprocated desire for copulation, conflict with other males. It, it sounds like some sort of animal. Disproportionate food intake. Is it? Could it us? be like bears or something? Oh, maybe. Or is it? Oh wait, no. It says a social role. What could that be? Like M O? Could that be male, female? Mother? No, wait. Though that's male. Frequent departure from two. I guess it depends on where these are. Yeah. Because if these are like really far away, then it could be other lookouts. Different subject numbers. Yeah, good point too. Three males. Because we would be the top one if that was us, right? Frequent departure from Two Forks area. Because Two Forks is our lookout. 
Yeah. So we're 4022, maybe? Okay, then Delilah could be... But I wonder, I do wonder if we're misinterpreting things. I don't know. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Yeah, Ron and Dave? The, good the Goodwins? Maybe the Goodwins? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's know. no way Brian knew. He would have said something. Yeah, I can't imagine a kid like that could have kept this under his hat. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. Hmm. Thank. I know what you did last summer. <laughs> mess. The desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. It's night out time. It's I feel outside. like we should not have our back turned to the entrance. Yeah. It I... says, well, you love Wyoming. <laughs> I don't feel like a criminal could have that kind of mug. I know. Hey, this desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate and stuff, do you? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. Hey, this desk seems to be where all the oh. monitoring is recorded. Just dials and okay. computers and sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate and stuff, do you? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. Wow, we just said the exactly the same. Oh, what is transceiver? Or do you think at. that's the same thing? I don't know. It also has report equipment. I don't want to listen to it again. Okay, it's probably fine. What is this thing? I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear like a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy. Holy shit, Henry. <laughs> Holy shit. We should take, take it, it right? yes, and use it. Yeah, of course. Yes. Now, she she called us Hank, right? Because like that was her joke. Yeah. Okay. So to make sure like she's not <laughs> well, losing it. <laughs> I know, why did we do this so late? This was a bad idea. A bad Or at least, idea. can we take this lantern or something? It reminds me of the lantern in Red Dead 2. It's oh. freaking red, which means we're near the... Yeah. The robot. Oh, I can clear the mess? Wait. Clear away. Why is it, why can't it, why won't it let me? See if it changes anything. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? Nice. I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Black box? What's that thing? <gasps> oh my god, Oh it my is. goodness! Holy fuck. Never kid, no, never marry, no kids. Guilt ridden, susceptible to influence. Pictures. That is me. Are oh my god. Are you kidding me? Fuck. What, what is it? There's a folder of reports here. Manipulation. <gasps> They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Nine. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is. What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. No it kids. looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. What the... We should just burn the place down. What? But, but, but we're still trying to prevent oh fires. God. Worst case scenario... Delilah. What? Think about it. I am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain, or someone were to die in it? We call it in? Delilah! We call it in? <sighs> yeah, maybe. 
Take oh the cane. God, Delilah, no. No way. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up. Oh my gosh, I want to read these. It's all right. I'm just going to hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Okay. So on Delilah's... Okay, so Delilah's 43. We're 39. Reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history, never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings. So she has very low susceptibility to manipulation. Right. What does this say? <gasps> Subject has fully engaged supervisor. Okay. Trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full cooperation. Full D cooperation? Delilah? Subject may Ooh. be aware of test. Suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. This is crazy. Do you think Delilah's in on it? I don't know. I mean, it's possible, but... Hmm. I don't know. Evidence. And what's this earthquake monitor for? I know. Can we use that thing again? Yes, we can. And what was the... Uh, we picked up a, a black box? Did we take that? Or was it? were we just moving it? I think we're just moving it. I'm scared. What if they wanted us to find it? We don't know. It's all part of the plan. It could be. <laughs> Hello? Well, I am glad that we can see. <laughs> we got a, a bright night. In the middle of the night. Okay. I'm not quite sure yet. Yeah, I feel like we're supposed to find this. It's all part of the test, maybe? I don't know. It is hard to tell, for sure. This is our only way out, right? I think so. Oh! <gasps> no! Oh no! Oh. Henry! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, Whoa. Oh, shit. oh shit! And there's smoke too? <gasps> what? Delilah. Um, Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I just Wait. climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. I didn't do that. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Call it in. We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Oh. Well, I feel like we have a good amount of evidence. Yeah. Hopefully. Are they still listening to us then? Yeah. Maybe they are. Maybe everyone's in on it. Oh. Oh God. <gasps> Oh no, we're losing it. Oh shit. <laughs> we're losing it. This receiver just picked something up. It's like a signal. It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. I think Delilah isn't on it. You know She's... what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? Damn. No! I am getting drunk! <sighs> hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but <laughs> maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. Uh oh. What? You're harsh in my vibe. Delilah. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or. I could not worry, and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Joe Delilah. 
<laughs> I, 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 I'll I, I, just I, leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Last thing I need is another big crossword <gasps> breakthrough. Ooh, radio off? Is that a good idea, though, either? Interesting. Examine. Not much to see here. Let's put it back. So this is just all of the evidence we've gathered, right? Yeah. Missing person, Ron and Dave. Working for them? Who is listening to us? All of our notes. Uh... Yeah, the clipboard, government owned, controlled area. I, I definitely am still not sure. <laughs> Anything in the notes or this typewriter? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna read this. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, did you, read, did you read this already? Yeah, we read this. Okay. Yeah, this is July 16th. We haven't written. In a while. But we do, oh yeah, we do have our, Delilah, oh, we are suspicious of Delilah. Ooh. That's interesting. Good to know. Bucket, Bucket Junior. <laughs> Bucket, you good bro? All right, we're okay. Just you and me, buddy. Just you and me, you're the, you're the only one I can trust. Honestly, that's true. What if it's been Bucket this whole time? Ah, you yes. could be right. Maybe he was angry at us for taking him away from his home. And this was all a big yeah. act of him getting his revenge. And now Bucket wants, Jr.'s revenge. He wants I would world, watch that movie. the world to, to burn. <laughs> so I guess we'll just follow it. We don't, we don't really have a specific route. Did you just follow the southwest? Like, or is it just telling you what it acts yeah, as a compass like to? Yeah, like as the beeps get quicker it is it's like red dead too kind of <laughs> minus the beeping yes oh it's up here how Maybe. do i get up here that's a good question here we go here we go yes oh, wait oh here What's we it? go oh my gosh it's, it's going crazy backpack i don't like this oh could it hit could it be key Could it be? I forget their name. It's a bomb! Oh my god, oh, Jesus. Shit. <laughs> ah. Shush! Oh my gosh. I thought they were about to get exploded into <laughs> a thousand pieces. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Whew. Do you think that key is for the uh, cave? Oh, it is. It says cave. Let's go. Wait, but wait, was there nothing else in the backpack? D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics. It was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, it still could have been a there's trap. There's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took him? And what the hell is in that cave? Ooh. Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. <laughs> Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark <laughs> in the middle of the woods. True. Oh, well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. Hmm. I'm not in my tower. <gasps> Someone's in my tower? Standing in your lookout. Oh my god. And it's not you. Oh. Run, Henry! It's not me. Shit. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Run! <gasps> Who know, is it? I will say, though, for someone Shit, who, I can't go this who way. Supposedly oh. is drunk. That sounds pretty normal. She does sound a lot more sober than she did before. Huh. That's scary, too. This is taking way too long. I don't have time to chop a tree down. Fuck. He's gonna be gone. Someone is in our crib. Bucket Jr. No! no! <laughs> if, they, if, if they took Bucket Jr. I'm ready. We riot. I'll do anything for Bucket Jr. We will kill, like John Wick. 
Unless she was lying. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. What's this? <gasps> it's a hey, bomb. We, we can play the cassette. Oh, clutch. I left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. This must be the aforementioned tape, I bet. Here we go. They manipulated it. Yeah. A tape of us talking down at the site. It, uh oh. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Shit. We're being framed. And it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down, and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't Stay freak calm. out. Oh shit. I wanted to check on Bucket. And our other tape? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can play it. That's a, that's intense. So we did break sequence. Yeah. A little bit there. <laughs> the tape she referred to. This is getting crazy. I don't know who to trust. He's <laughs> going to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry oh. in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. What? Um. Wait, so they're actually I acting on this? With that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need oh, to no. find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. <gasps> we don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. She sounds nervous. Us? <laughs> us! We just, we have to stick together. Okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation everything we just we got to be honest and consistent yeah i suppose you're right i know oof man things are rough huh? it's getting a bit rough yes it is i do feel like though the fact that this recording exists could kind of work in our favor because why would someone be recording our conversation like yeah. that's kind of a weird thing right to have I know. So who would like submit that? Like where would that evidence be coming from? Yeah. It's not all terrible. Is that is that a law where you have to like I guess technically we knew that we were being taped. Or did we know that we were being taped? Like No. You I mean can't, we didn't know we were actually like the That's a law, right? You can't like submit evidence of a recording. Or no, we can't you. If you don't know you're being recorded. Does it have to maybe it like can't GB just from anyone? I don't know. Yeah. Some states, okay. Or was all of that part of the plan? Are they really just trying to put the pressure on us? I think I think it's it could be a part of this big experiment. Like now Delilah's definitely maybe she is being manipulated too by the experiment. But I don't know. It's crazy. She's going crazy. You can tell her in her voice. I suppose I can't pick up the cassette player, can I? Or use it? Maybe there's a new game plus. Oh, do you think I messed it up because I got it before I got the cassette? Oh. He probably would have. You think he would have played it? Played it. If he had that. Wow. If so, that's kind of annoying, but that's okay. Damn. We have TP. You know, I can, like, bring Bucket with me, can't I? Like, if I adopt him again, will Wait. he just, like. Adopt hold. Maybe you should take him if it's the end of the game. Cause like, we'll just, even if we never see him again, we'll just assume he's in our pocket. Yeah. Or should we, should we wait? Maybe, maybe we would bring him. Yes, yeah, sure. Let him out. We'll, we'll, we'll wait a little bit longer. Are you sure? Hope so. I hope so. God. Oh, the tape right there. Oh, or is that, this is the report. This is, uh, 
Is there what we just listened to? I didn't write down more later. The sun's not up yet. I'm exhausted. At daylight, I'm going to head down into the cave in the canyon and see what I can find. I don't know what else to say, really. I know I should probably take extensive notes. Yesterday, I had the thought that maybe I'm not quite right in the head. It just came across me for a moment, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't think it for a second. I'm going down into the cave and I just hope I find something. I don't care what happens as long as I find something. I wonder what will happen if I don't make it back. I'm obviously a little worried about that and I'm not trying to act tough, but what would actually happen? It's hard to imagine at this stage anybody would notice. Susan, my sister out in Maryland, would eventually get a call and I'd feel bad for not seeing her and the kids for so long. But Julia, it's almost been six months now and maybe it wouldn't even register. Maybe I, I don't even register. I just felt a little panic there. What if I do register and I just left her alone? Hmm. Yeah, it's rough. What if the ending like doesn't even answer anything? <laughs> oh, that'd be, it's just a mystery. That could happen. Up to your own interpretation. It could. I can see that being one possible ending. Yeah, I feel like it'd be really hard hey, to, you, oh, never mind. You didn't actually make that call, right? Come on, Delilah. She's shooting on us. Stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen, though. Thanks, Henry. <sighs> Is it, though? We're suspecting. I mean, look at his notes. He's suspective. Um, he suspects. He, he does have some concern. Yeah, with Delilah. What if we find a body down here? That would no, be kind of cool. Would, that would be, that would be crazy. I almost want to. The murder mystery is still afoot. Anyone here? I have an axe. And I'm not afraid to use it. Okay. Yeah. Do we still have this thing? Yeah. Dude, Nothing? Nothing's popping up. What the hell? What? No! Are we locked in here? They shut me in here! It's all- Who did that? Oh my Holy god. Holy son of a gun. Unless someone locked me in the cave. Can she even hear me? Is this thing working? Yeah, we're in a for bro, we're in a freaking cave. Send someone to the cave, please. Hey, there, Delilah. Can't get any damn reception. No. Yeah, at this point, I would definitely be probably hyperventilating. Yeah, hyperventilating. <laughs> I'll be busted open that door, uh, some for you know somehow, some way. Oh man, we're just gonna have to keep going deeper in. I, I, I feel oh. like Delilah's in on it. But this is all some big thing. Jesus, this is a big cave. Ooh. Uh oh, are we gonna get- Don't crush me, please. We're gonna get more caved in? No. <sighs> Shimmy! Shimmy! Shimmy for your life, Henry! Oh. No thanks. What if I die down here? We could. <sighs> I think this is the end, man. It's freezing in here. Oh, I like the way his voice echoes. Mm -hmm. Hello? Anyone here? <gasps> What's that? <gasps> That's a shoe! Is oh my god. That can't be good. It looks like some Nikes. You think that, that could be a kid's shoe? It's probably the good one. Yeah, right? What's his name? I don't know either of their names, <laughs> unfortunately. The Goodwin son. I feel like I gotta check everywhere. Mm -hmm. Brian is the son, Ned is the dad. Ned and Brian. Thank you, Kavuzel. You're a real one. Maybe, could there have been like an accident that happened down here? Like, um, Brian was looking around, or... Could be. 
fell. I don't know how that would be related to everything else. But we're wishing we had a light right now. Wait, we're outside. Are we? There's plant life. Wait oh, yes, minute. that's light. Oh. We're so close. Oh, we gotta squeeze. We gotta squeeze through. Shit. Where does this go? Hell. <laughs> this looks so bad. We're in the thick of it. Well, at least you made it out. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? Delilah! Uh, there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. Oh, did I miss something? <sighs> I don't have oh. any climbing equipment. Oops. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. <laughs> Damn, we're still going? We can use, um... Bucket. Junior. Oh, where are we? That cave really put us out here. It did. Spooky place. I Yeah, I, yeah, I wouldn't want to go back in. Wow. Oh, <laughs> our door just opened. <laughs> and it was Amelia. I thought we had an intruder. I mean, we do. It's Amelia. Of the cat variety. Maybe we should. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> Kid. Is this a Delilah, secret? I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Brian. Really? Yeah. He built himself a real castle. A bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. <sighs> That's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. <sighs> Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... <sighs> I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. But he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Can we put it up somewhere? Where would this go? On the... Aw, oh, I can. <laughs> you can. Well, they're not very even, but... <laughs> he gets the job done. Nope. Oh no, what did I do with it? Oh, did I, did I accidentally take it? Can oh, you? Maybe, you I, take maybe it? I dropped it, actually. Where'd it go? Here we go. Please let me close this up. Oh god. Oh god. No! <laughs> I know this is, we need to be doing stuff, but I need to put these on perfectly. <laughs> Wait, oh, I just- Will I... it not let me? Don't do this to me. <laughs> oh no. I guess I can't really, I guess they're all kind of uneven. Ugh. I know, I know, I know. I got some books here. Oh, more Richard Sturgeon. Was he the Richard Sturgeon reader? He must be. Neil Black, put it all. Put it on. Wait, put it on. All, all maybe black. it's supposed to be put it all on black. Yeah. It's a. Uh... Oh. Roulette. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband, which gives him superpowers. <laughs> Go ahead, kill my That's family. <laughs> dark. It's, it's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Yeah. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. That was a nice try. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I hang this up as well? Wait, just go in the middle? Oh, no. Is it, is it a ha hanging sign or... I don't know. There must be a way to decorate this place. Wait, I need this stuff. 
There's so much to look at. Oh my God. A note. Huh, Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. Oh, is, I so was it was. Hide them in a cash box or something, and never got around to it. Oh. But he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing. Yeah, it mm. sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah, man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Mm. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Um, dear Ranger, hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me? Brian Goodwin in the mail. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a, re a re reward for this. You're probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip. So I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Oh, he sounds like a nice kid. The reward will be good. What else? There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I <laughs> found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, hack <laughs> elf armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. Yeah, between this and the map I found in my tower, old Brian created quite the fantasy world. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Nice. Poison spells. Armor seven. Okay. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. Okay. Interesting, but wrong. What? Aw. Hmm. This is sad. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a... You know, with it, dad. This is sad. But he never sent it. No. I guess. Brian. Climbing gear. There's a busted old toy out here. Some sort of electronic game. Yeah, I like Pong. Pong. Everybody likes Pong. <laughs> Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Damn, too bad it's busted. You can't play it? Hmm. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. <laughs> that little shit. She st stole my line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your line. We got some more stuff over here. Damn. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how oh. he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. Right. There's some wily Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> wow, the ingenuity. It's impressive. Mm-hmm. Our camera. I'm sorry I stole your camera. This have some film left. We didn't use it all up. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. <laughs> what, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um... Now that I think about it, wow, Delilah. I know lots of stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're so smart. You've drowned me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. <laughs> well, that waits over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Damn. Yikes. Sorry, boss. Um, 
I'm not gonna read all this, but I'm sure it's a great paper. <laughs> Good for you, Brian. Mexico. Are those your own words, Brian? Is she accusing him of plagiarism? Wow. Unbelievable. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Whoa. Basketball. <laughs> Freddy Krueger. <laughs> You're cool. dead. Good stuff. I like it. Presumably defaced by Brian Goodwin. Well, I think that clears up just about everything in this little hideout. Yeah. It's, oh, does this hang up here? Yes. We did it. I hope it's good enough. It is. It is I good. wish I could, oh, it's a dinosaur. I wanna take the dinosaur. I can't take the dinosaur. That's a little unfair. Just trying to clean this place up a little. There's a lot of information about him. I feel like it, it could come back to that somehow. Brian and Ned. Yeah. Are we not going this way? Or can we... Re uh... Oh, I see. Nice. Geronimo. So are we, we're going back to the cave, back right? to the cave. Cause we, ha we have the climbing equipment now. So do you think that sneaker belonged to Brian? What do you think is That's there? my guess. There's gotta be something. Why else try to kill me? I don't know really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Yeah. Are you serious with this <laughs> shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. That it would. It would. I guess since we're here, I can double check the cassette. I'm assuming it's still gonna be, it's gonna be gone. What? Wait, what? Excuse me? Oh, like pick it up again to listen to it? Yeah, but why is this beeping? Oh, I didn't even see that. It's an elk. Yeah, I've got a dead elk out here. It's torn up something good. It's got oh, a, it has color. a color on it. Just like there was one of those in the tent. This elk is wearing a tracking collar. The wave receiver picked it up. Is that right? Yeah, it's numbered. <gasps> Makes sense. Is that what they were tracking? Oh. Maybe they were tracking elk at that site. Maybe. Maybe they were doing exactly what they said they were. Delilah. Yeah. There was lots of equipment there. I mean, they, they could have been up to a lot, you know? But that doesn't explain yeah, sure. them hitting us. They could be. Yeah. And that's like torturing animals or something. Like it's like an unethical. Is this evidence? I think so. Just in case. You never know. I really, I, I don't know. I'm really unsure on this one. It's blocked again? So maybe we can get the tape again. Maybe it just like, yeah. <gasps> yes. What? Let's go. But I can't, it won't like let me put it in. I guess I'll. Well, it did exactly the same thing as before. No, I wonder why I didn't let us hear it. Anyway, let's get out of here and head back. So we're going back in the cave. Are you sure? Are you ready? Yes, I just want to know. I feel like Henry right now. Like I just, I'm not that scared at the moment. I just want to know. Yeah. Well, you don't, you won't have to wait too far, too long. 
Well, we'll see. <laughs> oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. <gasps> Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. Where were they? They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. Crazy kids. <laughs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Hmm, well that solves that issue. But it still it just plays into the mind games, like what's true, what's not. Hmm. Here we go. Oh, we're using it here? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know if I trust this. <laughs> Damn. Is it sturdy enough? It's gonna have to be. We've made it. How's footprints. That? No, not footprints. Rocks. rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ready. Yeah, no, yeah. Stuff. That's good. Nothing looks out of place. No. I feel like we, we might, reached that shoe that we, we saw. might find Brian's body. I feel like. What is that? Is that something? Dirt? No, it's is just it dirt. dirt? Or is it blood? I think it's just dirt. Okay. Which is probably Damn. for the best. We're getting we're going deep down in here. Good cave ambience. It really <laughs> I feel like it sounds like you would expect a cave mm -hmm. to sound. Not that I've been in many caves. Whoop. The music's changing. I feel like we're about to un uncover some deep, dark secrets. Oh no! No, uh, little Brian! Uh, shit. And Elias gonna feel guilty. Oh god. Damn. Oh, that's rough. Oh, no. Step oh, over. Poor kid. Evidence. Should I take a picture of this? I feel like I should, yeah. right? Yeah. Poor fell. Brian. Yes, we did. Yes, Brian did. Well, I guess we just continue on. I guess so. Step over. Sorry, Brian. Okay. And report the body. Oh, that's so sad. It is. And what? Where's his dad? What happened to his dad? Ned, did you like? Is he still trying to find him? Is it like? Could it be his dad? And it's like a. Wait, you think Ned's trying to figure out... Like, stop us from finding this? Is this like a... But then how would that be related to all the science Is stuff? this like a... Oh, I don't want to spoil that with you. Never mind. Like a Friday the 13th type situation? But, like, is... Is Ned mad at, like, the wildlife park rangers for, like, letting... Brian die, and so it, he wants it, to torment them. But it feels know. like he wasn't that good of a dad anyway. That's true, too. Or could it be someone wanted us to find this? Mm. To uncover the truth? Yeah. Don't fall, please. Oh, God. Wow. This place is crazy. It is. <laughs> I feel like we were very confident we'd have a way out on the other yeah. side. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good point, uh, Outlaw. Like, he didn't want to do the climbing, but no. he still ended up doing it anyway, so his dad must have 
been pushing him, right? Yeah. That's the only explanation for why he would still be doing that's, it. That's tough. Oh, we're, we're oh wait, we, did we circle around? Wow. Well, that was, that's, that's convenient. Yeah, that's crazy. All right. What are the chances someone's about to attack me? I'd say 50-50. Ah! What if we go out this way? Okay. Okay. <laughs> there you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, you um might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's Oh what's no. Wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that <clears throat> What I don't <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm -hmm. Made to look like a climbing accident. I don't know. Oh, I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave, and that doesn't and feel very true, though. Oh, whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. Mm. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. You think... you think Ned k killed him? Killed him? Like, actually killed him? Like, pushed him off? <sighs> Cause that feels pretty extreme as well. Yeah. I don't know. Either way, it's not great. We're packing up and heading home. Yeah. All of our stuff. Including. We're we're not gonna take any of our clues. I guess not. Keep. You never know. Save. Let's take everything. Wait, where's where's. Uh, oh, no, I was just bucket. packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is two percent contained. Well, is this the flapjack fire or the site fire or? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec? You know about things. About what? Damn, I can't take this. Uh, we still yeah. don't know who was listening to us, who was following me around, who made that tape. Yeah, all we have is the body of a dead boy who did nothing wrong. But maybe we can still find these people. Look, I think whoever is out there caused the site fire to cover their tracks, and I'm almost certain that uh. when I get off the helicopter, I'm going to be led into a room and made to listen to a tape of me saying we started it. And we don't know shit. What can I do? <gasps> well, there's something for you to do. Holy shit. Holy crap. Yeah. I'm going out there? Oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Okay. Alright, look. If, if something happens... I'll remember you. <laughs> Damn, are we gonna die? Oh, well, that's <laughs> nice. Okay, is there anything else we need to take? I got, my, I got my picture. This? Sure. I don't know if I can. I can't. Yeah. What about his... Yeah. I got his... my picture. I got Bucket Jr. I can't take any of this. Okay. Got our ring. <laughs> yes, we were wearing the ring. Alright. Can't take any food. The, the GIF. Peanut butter. Ah! <laughs> any of my books? Damn. Wow. We're gonna have to stay here, books. Sorry, books. Rip. This is crazy. I would be freaking yeah, out right now if real. I was in this. Are you kidding me? Jeez. This is crazy. This is doomsday. With no real protection. 
Hang in there, Bucket Jr. We're gonna get you out of here. Imagine, oh my gosh, I, I wonder if people like have actually left the turtle. Maybe. Like accidentally, like they just forgot, that would be horrible. It would be. Where, where is it, what is it? I'm ready, show me. Music's turning on. Okay. Or is it a plane? What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's, it's just. Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far, yeah, we know. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point if my look Right. Out. Well, we're kind of off on our own adventure at the moment. Yeah. I, f <laughs> I mean, doing our own thing. <laughs> That's a good point, Kavuzel. It's like I think we put, picked Bucket instead of Mayhem, because if we had Mayhem, it would be Mayhem Jr. <laughs> Which would still be cute in its yeah. own way, but... Bucket Jr.? I love Bucket. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a fitting name for a turtle. I think it is. Oh. This way? No, this way. This way. I'm nervous! What else could it be? Shh. Fuck. <gasps> what? <gasps> oh. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my god. What? Oh. And are those collars? Oh my god. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? It says my name. tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Can I? There we go. <gasps> yeah, hi, Henry. It is dead. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kind of get why Brian took to her. Hmm. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. You guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down a lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just, he just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You pushed him, bro. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions and having to get him put in the ground and I didn't see the point. Jeez. Wow. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. So all that stuff was his? He made the team? No. Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. B. Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. <sighs> you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. So, so... He just didn't want us, like, finding him? That... That's it? But what was the point of all of the... The collars the, the and tracking and the whole government fence. He took over a research post. Oh, that would make sense. 
And I just made it his. Made it his. And he used all that equipment and stuff. And he was keeping track of us just, I guess, to know what we were doing, to hope we wouldn't find anything. But then that doing that and so led to us getting to him. Yeah. If he would have just been normal, I don't we think wouldn't we, have suspected anything we would, weird was going on. Exactly. Well, that's intriguing. I know. Oh, okay, so we're just we're, we're back to, to back the, to normal. Yeah. So it did come back to the Brian or the Goodwins. Yeah, it did. And he's gonna hide away. And not face That's up to what he did. Very. I just feel like. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he didn't kill him, but like I he think seems he's, like he doesn't care that much. He was trusting him. Like, he just really wanted him to climb, and it got him killed. I guess he's been dumping trash up here for a while. So this is his camp or there's a clothesline. Ooh. Where do I go? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, oh, is this a hatch? Oh, what? So, is this where he bunkered down? Um, kind of a miserable little spot. So, he also, t like, stole the clothes from the girls? He held on to some of Brian's things. Did he? His wizards uh, and wyverns. I don't know. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. He... God. What? Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. Hmm. Wow. Brian was a nice-looking kid. Yeah. No, this is sad. No, Brian. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Yeah, Delilah. Okay. Ugh. He wrote down everything he did to us. Wow. Everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. I bet. Okay, yeah. So research site info, how to break how in. How to break in. Staff return, August 10th. Ah. Leave no Erase trace. Evidence. Leave no trace. Okay. So he started that, he, he started that extra So he fire was then. really just terrified that we were going to find the body. That was all it was. <sighs> I feel like he'd have to do, go through all that then. Guilty. And how did how did he find all the information out about us? Like everything about Julie with Henry and well, I guess it's from our talks, right? He, well, he well but but remember Henry said like there was stuff on there that he had never even told Delilah. Oh yeah. And this he somehow was able to look him up. But I don't know. Would not be missed if removed. He wanted to kill, like, potentially. Damn. He, he could have ki killed us. Then why didn't he kill us when he had the chance? Maybe he just wasn't sure what he wanted to do. Maybe. Wait. Oh, wait, let's say, sweep him back from Teen's camp. Propane, cord, blankets. Yeah, yeah. Summer weight gain goal. Very Try fair. elk skin. From the team's can. Oh, that's okay. He's just expecting that. Electronic junk. From... So this could be from a strip from the snowmobile. Yes. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. I 
I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres yeah. and growing fast. It's going to burn all of this up. Yeah. Oh, well, pictures. Take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. Everything. This boombox looks <sighs> familiar. Oh my gosh, is the one we threw in the lake? Wow. Okay, good point. Pictures, pictures. Pictures, we have plenty. We'll take one here. We'll take one from this angle. Ugh. Wow, he had a nice little view, didn't he? Okay, picture. Nice. I mean, I have 11 photos left. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. I think that's nearly it. Wind chimes. Wow. All the beer he stole. <laughs> you can clean up one last beer can. Yeah. <laughs> Take one more picture for good measure. Steven's room. Can we get another, another sturgeon? Oh, wow. <laughs> that's cute. I like the cover. Uh huh. Oh, radio logs. That's our conversations. Sir Craig. He's just super paranoid. Wow. Like, super paranoid. Jules Julia is a good guy. Drunk again. Seems less interested. Um, observe and ready to leave. Suspect conspiracy. Funny, if not dire. These tower hit against each other. Wow. He had it all. He was planning it all, wasn't he? Stakes too high. No one will believe. B he was, was happy. happy. Make D and 2F less believable. 2F crazy like wife? Not a good guy. Mama Grizz back. They heard me. Yeah, key's gone. Can't let 2F find B. Jeez. Man, what a miserable existence. Yeah. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. He had quite the view. Godwin's view. Goodwin's view. Um, I feel like we really should be getting out of here, though. <laughs> he could still be here. Oh, uh, he said he left, didn't he? Yeah, but you never know. What if he, the killer comes back for one last scare? Ah, uh, let's have a mug of coffee. Okay, how do we leave? Do we just go back out here? Maybe, maybe it'll... Oh, oh. Oh. He could see my lookout. <sighs> oh, it would have been so easy to see me walking around. Wow. That's kind of creepy. Okay. So the whole thing with Javier is, is true, I bet. That she's still with him? You think? You May think she lied? Remember when we heard her have another conversation with somebody? Yeah, but that was on the radio. You think she was talking to Javier somehow? What is she? I don't remember what she it said. It was like, oh, he doesn't know anything? Or I can't remember what she said. Some I don't know. Something along All those right. lines. <laughs> Well, off we go. So it was just uh, paran paranoid Ned, who I yeah, that makes you mad that he's just he's hiding. He'll never confront. I know I should be relieved, relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. The shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Yeah. He wasn't a good dad. 
No fucking shit. But... But what? I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. I could be really mean. I know. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes. She I thought did. she was helping. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes. Don't leave without me. Yeah, for real, don't leave coming. us. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. You're gonna leave me? What? Yeah, just go. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, it's dangerous here, and and if anything were to happen, then that would be on me. So. Sure, that's okay. I guess. All right. Um, I should go. Never have get to see her. All right. Have a safe hike. I mean, to be fair, if we were in that situation, I would tell you to go. Uh, yeah. If I was, in, I would. I would want you to wait for me. If I was, if was in Henry's, I'd be like, just, just go, just get out of here. I'd do it very dramatically. <laughs> just <laughs> go. I know. All right, we just make our way up then. So, will we actually go to her tower? Yeah, but she'll be gone. But I wonder if we'll see the drawing. I want to see <gasps> oh, the drawing. Oh, maybe. What if or it's will like, it just fade to black? It could be too. I bet you it's a very nice drawing. There it is up there. The Lila's Tower. How do I get here? Just keep going. Is this where I drop down? No, I just run. Wait for me! Wait! <laughs> oh, I feel like I took the longer way to get to get here. Uh-huh. It's all good. Take it in the sights. Um, so, okay. Look it to the left. Well, we can check out that bramble. Huzzah! It's probably nothing, but... It's extra lore. I'm mad that we didn't get to hear that tape. Or do we have to... Well, isn't it just music, right? It's just the song. Yeah. The thing will be it. Like, once we leave, it's, the story's done. Probably. Like, yeah, I wonder if we'll get anything after the fact with Julie, Jules. Well... Jul oh, Julia, rather. Here it is. Is it just a shortcut? I think it's a shortcut, right? I feel like I remember seeing the other side of this. What will Henry do? I think they'll come back again. It's that way, right? Uh, let's see. This should. I wonder if the signs say anything. Yeah. Like I feel like Delilah might not come back. Perhaps. Yeah. After all it, this. Yeah, I remind her of Brian and everything. She'd feel too guilty, maybe. Look out this way. Taking it. Here we go. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Can Delilah, she even? Yeah, she's gone, right? Delilah. Maybe I wonder if she could have stayed. Maybe she would. He, he wished that she could have been there. Fade to black. Pro credits. No, we need a little something more. <gasps> we do get to take a look. Ah. Is that a plane just like stuck? Wait. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Time is frozen. Wow. I'm a superhero. Look at you. 
It's the logo. <laughs> of the game that we're playing. Damn, she has quite the uh, perch up here. She does. Oh. Have a good time. <laughs> and some flowers. No, no, no. I want to look. Wait. Wanna look. Wanna look. Don't come too soon. We need a... We need a... Snoop their stuff. It's not weird, I promise. It's all part of the experience. She probably Where? took a lot of it already. Yeah. Timothy Howell. Crossword. She did say she liked yep. crosswords. She didn't take her shirt. Headphones. Apples. I can oh, eat this. There it is. <laughs> uh, oh, Bucket Junior's on here too. Oh my god. What? That's, that's so cool. White shorts. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. That's a great drawing. Cool. Tequila. Can we take that too? Oh yeah, free tequila. Let's do it. Party time. Redneck, magnificent. Oh, these are birds. She's already Woods. on birds. Okay. Okay, just notes. A lot of the same stuff as me. Mm -hmm. Slippers. Some nice slippers. I would have taken those. And a sleep mask. Well, not too much, Wait, but... I think that's something for holding water, I think. What is? The sleep... Go to the right. That. Oh, it's not a yeah, sleep mask? I was oh. like... I actually might have had one of those before. That's why I work. It looks like it. a sleep mask from the <laughs> side. Do you think we're good to go? I guess. I feel like we've seen... Everything. There's no suspicious notes we can we can read that she left behind. I love Henry. I don't Wait, know. Wait, was that moldy? That might have been moldy. Whoops. Sorry, uh, Henry. Oh, she did take it. Pork she pond. She did take it. Yep. That's a nice touch. Good I would have taken that with me too. <sighs> Save me. Please don't leave me out here. Hello. Is anybody there? Hi. Yeah, it's me. Delilah. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red, Colorado plates. Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Hey. <laughs> well, yeah. I think there might be a raccoon living in <gasps> No, not the raccoon. Not again. Back my face. <laughs> hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. <gasps> ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? <laughs> Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming yeah. back? No, and you'll have to. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. What? <sighs> All right, sure. Um, maybe. <gasps> Come to Boulder with me. What? Move to Santa Fe. What's in Santa Fe? Is there something in Santa Fe? Is uh, the boyfriend, is the ex in Santa Fe? Oh, Javier? Maybe move to Santa Fe. Okay. Open sister, a jade sister. With your sister. Oh, okay, that's nice. I like that. I'd be trading cute ski bombs for yoga retreat hippies, but maybe that's not all bad. Plus the margarita situation. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so what about me? Ooh. I think you should go to Julia and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. <laughs> I am. Um, yeah. You gotta go see her. 
She's right. Would you? Ooh. He, he doesn't seem too confident. I know. Would you? Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. You're right. I mean, I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could, um... We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year, we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a... Uh, I don't know. So are we forgetting each other? Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. Maybe. <laughs> Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? Yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice too. Hey everyone. So unfortunately, Twitch muted this part of the stream, which is a bit unfortunate, but I still wanted to keep the video in there, but I also didn't want it to be total silence as well. So that's why I'm here. But as you can see, Henry and Delia are saying their final goodbyes. And Henry is about to evacuate the area. Wow, great stuff. It's, <laughs> there's me waving like a crazy man. And we're about to get the last shot of the helicopter coming in to rescue us. Wow. And I'm running. I don't know what I'm trying to do here, but we're having a good time it looks like. So that's a good thing. And here we have this final shot, pretty cool shot, beautiful, as Henry escapes. And we see someone else that's not someone trying to manipulate us, like Net. so it's cool. Wow. Unfortunately, I can't do any sort of chopper impersonation, so I apologize for that. But anyway, we're gonna get a ending screen here some credits and it's actually we're gonna get we're kind of surprised here because wait for it we're dancing to some music um we'll get all the photos that we took so sarah will be kind of mad here just because she wished she would have taken a few more photos i think we had like maybe 13, 14 left. But unfortunately, all the photos we did take were either evidence or like there's a dead elk in here. So it's all kind of, nothing's really beautiful, essentially. So I think we're now noticing everything and there's some pictures of, of course, Brian and <laughs> We're kind of feeling bad now that this is always took yeah more death and despair, unfortunately. And we have a bit more here, the soil that we took back at the scientist stations. Pretty cool shot there though. I wonder what we're saying. So now you'll hear the rest of our final thoughts. Thank you for everyone for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And thank you to all those who made it out to the stream over on Twitch. Take care and thanks for watching. Really had a good drawing. It's true, true. That's really it. Yes. Cool. All right, I think we can. Oh, oh what's this? Oh, it's a little dinosaur. <laughs> can we get can we get a photo of oh I should get a photo bucket. of Bucket Jr. Oh, I should have got a photo of Bucket. What's this? Is that who's that? Oh, it's Ned and um. Oh, because it was their camera, right? Oh, right, oh. right, right. I forgot about that. Damn. They look so happy in the photos, right? Yeah. The photos want to tell one side of the story. All right, that's it. Wow. A wrap. On. Firewatch. Firewatch. Initial thoughts? Okay. Overall, a pleasant experience. 
really enjoyed getting yeah. to know Henry. Yeah, the storytelling was was great. I feel like it, I mean it was it was paced pretty well. Um, and like, I mean, just the art, like just right. walking around felt like such a treat because everything was so beautiful and the music and atmosphere was so great already. So like I enjoyed walking around and just exploring, you know, like feeling like I'm really out there in the wilderness. Exactly. Um, and I, yeah, I liked, I mean, I, I liked the setup of how you learned about the world through Delilah talking to you and getting to like read things and like definitely a very cozy my style yeah. of game. Like it would have been cool, obviously, for there to be some crazy mm. conspiracy. Yeah. But I do feel like it's really like a testament to really being on your own and like what being alone in the wilderness can do to your mind because they really started to get super paranoid, right. super freaked out. Um, I mean, look what it did to Ned himself. Yeah, yeah, him as well. I, I feel there. like this whole situation was just really like exa everything was exacerbated by the like just being alone and with your mm -hmm. thoughts. Yeah, and not really being sure what's going on. Yeah, I think I'm sure this whole thing, right? This whole situation with all we're being watched sort of took Henry's mind off of Julia. Yeah. Yeah, they both have their own issues. Yeah. Too. So now it's like, that's all done. What do you, what do you, what's next? What's next for Henry? What's next for Delilah? And they have to return to the lives they've been avoiding. That's true Ooh, too. The big, big reality. They have to face everything. Will they? I'm not so sure about Henry. Like he's, I just feel like, yeah, I guess I have to go face, like see, but he just, there's still uncertainty in his voice I heard there towards the end. I'm not sure yeah. exactly what he will do. I'm not sure what exactly what Delilah will do. Yeah, I feel like Henry, he needs at the very least like some type of closure. Yes. And I feel like seeing her could do that. Like now that he's a bit removed from the situation he was in before and he's had time to, if not process it, at least just be away. So he's not as like, Mm. emotionally entrenched as he was before. Right. I think it's also really cool, like, just how we, like, I feel like I learned so much about Delilah, even though we never saw her. Yeah, that was unique, right? We're never around her. Like, like, I feel like she's still a very real character. And like, we, it, you know, it would, it would have been weird to see her, but. Yeah, I'm kind of glad we didn't yeah. see her in the end. But we did see our drawing. Of or her drawing of us, which is not neat. Yes, nice little details. We had Bucket Junior in there as well. Bucket Junior can help us in our life. He's our he's our emotional support. I'm glad we got him out of there. <laughs> Animal. He would have probably not survived the forest fire. I don't think so. Wow. But yeah, I, I always I love a good mystery game. So even if the mystery wasn't what we might have initially thought, it still was satisfying to uncover things and. For certain things to happen and just yeah you know i like the build up to like yeah build it, good build up it went from like oh we're just ch chasing these shitty teenagers <laughs> to all of a sudden now things are getting a bit weird we're suspe suspecting delilah of something yeah we thought she was lying but then we were being watched by ned so i just like how it all kind of unraveled in the end. It was making me question myself yeah. about what I thought. Questioning you. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, and as I said before, the music was really good. Mm -hmm. And like, it did pick up a lot in the second half, I guess. Yeah, but I feel like it was also a very chill, calming game for a lot of it. Just a good, a good time. A good time. Good fun. <laughs>